Hello, hello. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a super easy nut milk right at home. Today I'm using my Nama 2 juicer. And so let's begin. Here I am using walnuts and almonds. Um, you can use a combination of nuts or just almonds, whatever your choice is. I first started the night before soaking my walnuts and almonds for about eight hours. When you're ready to start making your milk, you wanna give them a good rinse. I'm putting my nuts back into the bowl and then I'm gonna be adding two cups of water. Using my Nama 2 juicer, I'm gonna start incorporating the nuts through the top of the machine. And just to give you a little tip, uh, you wanna use um, a ratio of equal parts of water to equal parts of nuts when you are feeding the juicer through the top. I find that when I do this, my milk is not runny or watery. It's very nice and thick and delicious and creamy. For a little bit of flavor, I'm gonna be adding three dates that are seedless, and then I will also be using a natural vanilla bean, which I will slice in half and try to scoop out all that goodness inside the vanilla bean. This part was a little tedious and I wish I would have had this ready for you guys to see um, how I scooped this out. And I didn't do a great job at scooping everything out, but the good news is I still have some of that vanilla bean for next time. Turn in my machine back on and finishing whatever I have left in the bowl to feed through the top of the machine. I have a strainer over this container where I'm letting the milk pour into, and this is just to ensure that I have a really creamy milk. Here I'm gonna be running my pulp a second time, and I'm adding two cups of water. I find that when I do this, I get a little bit more out of the almonds and the nuts that I'm uh, blending. My milk still comes out delicious and creamy when I do this, and I actually really like it. So I know that my recipe calls for two cups of nuts and two cups of water and I find that even if I decide to run the pulp a second time with an additional two cups of water, you do end up with a little bit more milk, which is great, and then you're not wasting the pulp. If you do decide to use the pulp, um, you know, for any other reasons, perhaps baking, you can freeze it um, or use it for other baking needs. I find it super fascinating that after the second time I've run this, it is so dry. If you decide to do this recipe and run your pulp twice through your machine, I'm curious. Let me know how that comes out or works out for you. And that's it guys. That's how simple it was. It took me probably less than 10 minutes to make this homemade almond walnut milk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this for you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!